This is code.org. Let's see what we're working on. The soup should spill out of the bowl when it turns upside down. Do this. Run the program. Okay. Ah. Add a conditional that detects when the bowl is upside down and sets the sprite's animation to be an empty bowl. Oh, okay. Let's go into animations real quick. So here, oh, yep, there's the regular bowl, and here's the stew or the soup. Okay. Notice this is named bowl, that's named stew. Got it. All right. So run the, yep. And you add a conditional. And remember what we were talking about. A conditional means if. Don't let that word scare you. They're saying add a question, ask if something. So I'm going to go into control, grab my if, and I guess I'll do it here. Now, what should I ask? I'm going to ask if is upside down. Well, when is it upside down? And if you're not sure, we can do uh, soup dot rotation. Oh, I left this empty. Let me get rid of that for now. See, and when is it upside down? If you think about a circle, it should be upside down when it gets to 180. Boom, and it is. So that's what we want to ask, right? If what? If the soups and we could do equals. The problem with equals is that it's only equals for a split second. But let's try that first, actually. So if the. Yeah, if the soups rotation. Is equal to what? 180, right? Because then it's upside down. So if it's flipped all the way over, well, we want to change its picture. We want to change the soup's picture to that bowl, just that empty bowl. Let's see how this does. Boom, and it's gone. No more soup for you. Bye. It'd be fun to make it fall in. Add the... <laughs> we got it then. Cool. So we just really want to be conscious. What's happening here? This is a Boolean expression. We're asking the computer a question. Soup.rotation, is that equal to 180? Two equal sign is a question. One equal sign like this makes a variable. So we're saying, hey, is the soup's rotation equal to 180? If it is, if that's true, the, it, the computer says true, and it runs this code, that changes our picture in, into an empty bowl. If this is false, this soup's rotation is 11, is 14, is 72. Well, then this is false. It would not run the code inside of this blue mouth thing, right? Inside of this if statement, it would not run it. It would just skip over it and keep running. Regardless, it keeps running. The only difference is if your if statement is true, if this Boolean is true, then this chunk of code runs and then it keeps running. If it's false, this chunk of code does not run, then it keeps running. Onward.